Okay, MP. Let's get this win, MP. NBA season still young, but we have excitement in the air for this year's in-season tournament. I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Here are the five for the Suns. Royce O'Neal is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Kevin Durant. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Rain Man in at the two. And for the Jazz, we've got Colin Sexton. He's out there with George. Walker Kessler out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Hendricks in at the four-man position. Grant, during your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, your new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. Now here's Booker. Nurkic's shot is good. Now Devin Booker, a shooting guard that does have some point guard skills. Pass to Kessler. Clarkson with the ball. To the paint. Kessler with a bucket. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. And Booker has got the ball here for the Suns. Shot from the top of the key. Rain man, that's good. On offense, here's Utah. Clarkson outside, driving to the basket. The Suns clear it. They want to keep rolling here, following a win against Minnesota. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that one. And Utah has possession. Following the score by Phoenix. George outside. Right side, Sexton. Here's Kessler. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Colin Sexton forced into the role in Cleveland with tons of minutes, but also having to orchestrate the offense for a very young team. Here's Rain Man. Against Minnesota, he was really on his game. Kessler with a rebound. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. George passes to Kessler. Pass to Clarkson. Fires from the line. Rebounded by Nurkic. Good shot, gone bad. Got to finish there. You know, Brent, for the Suns franchise, it's hard to believe they've never won an NBA title. Pretty incredible with the uh, ring of honor in Phoenix that they have, and the amount of Hall of Fame players that have put on that jersey. You know, they've lost the finals a few times, up 2-0 back in the 21 finals. They've had a couple of MVPs, some fantastic teams. The title is the last frontier for the Phoenix Suns. George outside. Outside Sexton. Pass to Hendricks. Back to Sexton. Six to shoot. Inside. Here's Clarkson. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Booker against Sexton. Here's Rain Man. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his third assist of the night. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. 
George feels it out a bit. Pass to Clarkson. Let's the three fly, and it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Well, the defense did everything in their powers to make that possession difficult. Jordan just more powerful. Durant, pass to Booker. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And one thing about Devin Booker, he continually hones his offensive game, Brent. Yeah, I'm trying to find a weakness in what Devin Booker can provide you offensively, and there aren't any. His strengths are absolutely elite. Shot creation, great range. He's a clutch performer. This guy is a special offensive talent. Both free throws good from Booker. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Clarkson against Durant. Now here's Clarkson, tightly guarded. George outside. The three is up. O'Neal pulls it in. The Suns leading. It's Booker on the wing. Over Clarkson. Booker, good. And Booker's got one of the quickest releases in the game. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Utah. Pass to Hendricks. Now here's Sexton. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Kessler. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. For Phoenix, they've gone six of seven and looking good. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Most fans think of Devin Booker. They think of the range, but man, he's attacking right now to get to the line. George against Booker. Here's Sexton. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Pass to Rainman. Fade away. Again, the sun's good for two. Utah trailing here. Sexton passes to Kessler. Now George. Outside Sexton. Rainman grabs the board. The Suns have gone an impressive eight of nine. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one's on Clarkson. Well, Brent Duran is at the point of his career where we can discuss if he's one of the best ever. I don't think that you could argue that. He certainly has all of the accolades, B.A., All-Stars, titles, MVPs, finals MVPs, on that 75th anniversary team. Just stack them all up. He's right there. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Down low. Here's Kessler. And no good. Nurkic with some nice D. Durant against Clarkson. Pass to Rayman. Back to Durant. Rebound, Utah. The Suns beat them last time when these two met in Phoenix. They failed to create enough good looks. The ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. They could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist from Durant. Booker's got eight. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Sexton, that's good. Letting Sexton fall into that kind of rhythm, that's a disaster for the defense. they got to be better. Here's Rainman. Sinks the 15-footer. Give him eight. What a quarter right here, establishing some confidence. Four of five, shooting the ball. And Utah calls time here. 
Coming off a win against the Blazers. And that performance shows the upside of this team. The key for them now, consistency. All right, let's look back over the last 10 games now. See which teams were topping the charts in three-point shooting. The Suns, number one. Incredible accuracy from deep over the past couple games. Great floor spacing. And, of course, they're shooting. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Beal finds Bull. Here's Rain Man. Beal left side. Pass to Rain Man. Outside Bull. Clock at six. Fades back. And that one good. Bull's got seven points for the quarter. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And so, in the game for Phoenix, Kevin Durant is out there with Bull Bull. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Rain Man in at the point. Collins. Sexton looking around. Over Beal. Sexton misses. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Rain Man. And here's Durant. And there's a pick. Utah with the rebound. George with it. He's coming off a 19-point game against Portland. Now here's Sexton. Let's a floater go. Bowl grabs the board. Bowles got a rebound number five here tonight. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Nurkic a screen on George. Here's Rain Man. Sexton grabs the board. Utah shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. And the NBA adding a minimum amount of games played for major awards now. What do you think about that, Brent? Yeah, I love it. I love the fact that everybody's going to have to reach a certain marker in order to be eligible that keeps guys hungry keeps guys wanting to be healthy and work through injuries and push themselves a little bit it also forces teams to get their star players on the floor and do what they can to make sure that they're getting the production that they need from the guys that they're paying most so i love the nba adding that minimum amount of games for these awards to be handed out that's good from duran on the assist by beal Durant's got six here in the quarter. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Pass to Collins. Rejected by Bowl. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Well, they've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition, so that focus on fast break, that'll add to your total in a hurry. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Suns. Booker comes in for Beal. George passes to Collins. And then it's Collins with the dunk. A growing aspect of George's game. He's working to become a strong facilitator. Booker finds Durant. Here's Rain Man. Durant surveying the D. Pass to Nurkic. 
Shot is up. Chops in the layup for two. Nurkic has got his second basket of the night. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Clarkson for three. Kevin Durant with a rebound. And so it's Durant who brings up the ball for Phoenix. They've only given up six here in this quarter. The fader. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed a tee and a blanket because he's putting this one to bed. Clarkson outside. Here's Collins. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Rainman. He's got 11. Pass to Durant. Let's go with a three on target from range. Durant's got nine points in the quarter. One of those nights that Kevin Durant is just massive for his team. For my money, this guy is the best scoring forward of all time. And here's Clarkson. They need this. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. That shot is good by O'Neal. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. Well, Clarkson can get inside. He's athletic to do that and then needs to touch in that area. Showed it off there. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Booker's got 10 points in the game. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Collins passes to Clarkson. And it's Clarkson again missing. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Back to Booker. Screen by O'Neal. Goes up from the top of the key. Booker can't get it to go. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Here's Rain Man. He's covered by Clarkson. With the fadeaway. The shot by Rain Man, no good. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. He's finally started to settle down here in the second quarter. Just needed to work up a sweat. Pass to Rain Man. Ooh, hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. 13 points in the game. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jumper. George outside. Now here's Collins. Now George. Booker defending. Kessler a screen. George passes to Kessler. For three, Collins. The Suns clear it. Nurkic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Phoenix has gone seven of nine from three-point range so far. Pass to Rainman. 29 seconds left in the second. It's rebounded by Hendricks. Utah has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. 15 seconds left in the first half. Durant against Clarkson. From outside the arc. That shot missing. And so it's the Phoenix Suns building an insurmountable lead. Come on, they're up 38 points at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We'll be right back after this word.
Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first half, let's take an early season peek at how the Western Conference is shaking out so far. You know, for the Suns, this team wants to do big things, shack size things, and I got to say, they're looking almost as dominant as Kenny. Easy, big fella, but I got to say, they are making it look easy here in this early part of the season. And fellas looking now with the first half of play. Ground to make up a major deficit for the Utah Jazz. Yeah, looking at the score, there's a lot we can pick apart. But their perimeter defense, no communication. They're letting shooters run free. Yeah, no question. They need way more urgency in that area. It's been raining threes. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Oh, he's been their defensive anchor so far. Stifling shots left and right. Been aggressive to block shots, but also avoiding fouls. That's a, that's a heavy presence inside. We've got George. Also, Colin Sexton out there. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Walker Kessler. And it's Hendricks in a power forward. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Here's Rain Man. Check by Sexton. Rain Man connects on the foul line jumper. Rain Man's got 15 points. And the D having issues slowing down their mid-range game. Now here's Clarkson. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Clarkson. All right, let's check out the best NBA teams from the field this season. Phoenix, number one. The smart offensive moves this team makes helps them open up the floor and find great looks. That's how they've secured such an impressive shooting percentage. Phoenix has gone seven of nine from three-point range so far. Booker, the pass to Rain Man. Durant with it. About a minute played here in the second half. Clarkson up top. They set a pick. Pass to Hendricks. This one for three. He drops it from range. Hendricks has got his first three points of the game. And nice work by Clarkson picking up the wide open guy. He scans the floor and sees the opportunity. Rain man, the pass to Nurkic. Three pointer O'Neal. Another three for Phoenix. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And stolen by Durant. And the Suns pushing it up now. And Booker with the jam. A phenomenal basketball instincts by Durant. Picks that one clean and then sends it the other way. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Pass to Hendricks. Back to George. Just four to shoot. Kessler a screen. Three-pointer. And again, it's Utah with a three. And there's a nice rhythm to his three-point shot. You know, George has a confident stroke. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Rain Man, the pass to O'Neal. Here's Durant. Back to O'Neal. Let's it go from deep. Hits a three-pointer. O'Neal's got six here in the corner. Well, I'm not sure what the coach said at halftime, but whatever it did, it's lit a fire. They're now four of four from the field to start their offense here in the second half. And it's Clarkson missing. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Pass to Rain Man. O'Neal on the wing. 
Durant, the pass to Rain Man. The Suns need to get off a shot. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. There's the steal. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's O'Neal. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. They're really in control on both ends of the floor right now, forcing turnovers and finding easy points while the other guys struggle to keep up. Pass to Kessler. Now Clarkson fires the three. The Jazz again can't hit. Here's Durant. Drives to the hoop. Durant almost seven feet. It's just hard to believe watching how well he moves. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for the Utah Jazz. And here's Clarkson. Here's the pick to halt the run. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got his fifth rebound in this one. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. And Nurkic throws it down. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. And there's the lob. Well, a combo guard who can do a lot of things decently well. Jordan Clarkson, solid at dishing that rock. Phoenix has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Some players just have an innate knack for scoring the ball, Grant. Jordan Clarkson, definitely one of them. Yeah, absolutely, B.A. That jump shot has to be honored. And because of that, he's able to get inside and create for himself and others. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, through all the stress and the turmoil of recent years, Bradley Beal is one of those players who is willing to open up and acknowledge the strain. He said, quote, it's okay to feel down, to talk about it, to be a human. A lot of times I think I'm a superhero or I can kind of figure things out on my own, but it's all right to rely on people. Brian? Yeah, you have to. It's all part of being a great teammate, no doubt. Thanks, Allie. Rain Man, the pass to O'Neal. Misses the three. The Jazz have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Outside Sexton. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Grant. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do, to be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence too, B.A. The first free throw is good. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. Beal, the pass to Rain Man. Six on the shot clock. Fades. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got three assists now in this one. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Sexton, that's good. Sexton's got 12 points. Toughness there shown by Colin Sexton. No stranger to having to outmuscle the defense from time to time. Beal outside. Bowl, the pass to Beal. Bowl, a screen on George. Here's Beal. Up and in on the layup. He's got seven. And that's how you average 30 a game. Beal scoring with the bump. Outside Sexton. Baseline jumper. That one a little long. Phoenix has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Rain Man, checked by Sexton. Bowl, a screen on Sexton. Here's Rain Man. Utah with the rebound. And here's George. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Sexton, that's good. Sexton continuing to try to expand his game, and in this one, looking very comfortable. Here's Rain Man. Kessler with a rebound. Great contest of the shot. 
kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Now here's Sexton. He's covered closely. The drive by Kessler. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Suns. Their offensive game plan has... Sexton's checked in for Utah. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Bowl, the pass to Rainman. There's a screen by Bowl. No good. Good D by Kessler. The Jazz have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And so, in the game for Phoenix. We've got Bull Bull. Grayson Allen is out there with Damian Lee. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Rain Man in at the one. Yeah, when Collins gets up there like that, look out. Phoenix has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Here's Rain Man, defended by Dunn. Rain Man, that's good. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Here's Dunn. Oh, it's blocked by Bowl. And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with the Ford. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. Gordon Tucker on the wing. From 11 feet away, the rebound by Eubanks. Eubanks, he's got four rebounds now. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Collins. And then it's Collins with the dunk. You have to like Collins and his activity level. He's really got a chance to be special. Here's Rain Man. Checked by Sexton. Here's Rain Man. Connects on the 17-footer. Rain Man's got four points now in the quarter. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Outside Horton Tucker. Pass to Sexton from the arc. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bowles got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's Rain Man. Checked by Sexton. Here's Rain Man. Just five to shoot. Beal outside. Fires for three. Knocks it down from distance. Beal loves getting a little wiggle room and then great rhythm on that three. To the middle. Here's Collins. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's going to go on Drew Eubanks. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Free throw is good from Collins. And what you like about John Collins, just a steady, quality player, Brent. And you wonder if he's going to get unlocked in a different situation. A big man who can score on all three levels and with more responsibility, could he really flourish on both ends? Clarkson's checked in for Utah. George comes in for Dunn. Here's Rain Man. Kessler with a rebound. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for the Jazz. Here's Clarkson, driving in, uses the glass on the layup. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open in that court awareness, he was able to get it to him. Pass to Rainman. Bowl, a screen on Sexton. Rainman, the pass to Bowl. Three-pointer, no good. 
the Jazz have gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Now Kessler. Now Sexton. Clarkson for three. Sinks the tray. Clarkson's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Here's Rain Man. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. Clarkson outside. Kessler passes to Sexton. Kicks it to George. There's the three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Here's Rain Man. Checked by Sexton. Lee on the wing. Outside bowl. Shoots over Collins. On the money from 12 feet away. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Sexton passes to Kessler. Back to Sexton. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Sexton's got 22 points. The Suns have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Here's Rain Man, checked by Sexton. The shot by Rain Man, no good. Utah's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Clarkson. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, you think it's fair to 17 and 18 year olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And of course, now colleges have the NIL. So that's huge. Here's Lee. Beal outside. Beyond the arc. Sexton grabs the board. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Collins. And here's Clarkson. Collins with it. And Collins with the jam! Oh, man, we know Collins has hops. They should put him in the dunk contest with that one. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. And Phoenix shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Here's Rain Man. Falls back and drains a fadeaway J. Rain Man's got 12 points in just the second half. The Jazz shooting at 45% of the game so far. Pass to Clarkson. Phoenix grabs the miss. Bowles got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Rain Man. Well, from broadcasting to team ownership, heading USA Basketball, Grant, what drives you to do so much these days? Well, B.A., I'm an active guy, and I had a great playing career. But the things I wasn't able to do because of the injury, I think, left me even more motivated to excel and try new things in this next chapter of my life. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Suns. And they got a huge boost from their reserves tonight. Yeah, the, the point differential between the two benches was a deciding factor in this game. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. Some games you find big help in unexpected places. That was the case tonight for Rain Man. You look forward to playing with someone who doesn't just move the ball, but moves it with a purpose. Fires high post. The shot by Rain Man, no good. 32 seconds left in the fourth. Clarkson finds Sexton. 
Back to Clarkson. George against Beal. Pass to Kessler. Fades away. And it's Lee with the rebound. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Second personal foul, 15 foul. No good on that one. Shooting for Phoenix, number 97. Two shots. And he sinks the second. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. And that's their first win in group play for the in-season tournament grant. Evening out that record at one and one. Yeah, B.A., keeping their hopes alive of advancing to the knockout stage. And they're still in it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this that's is Brian Anderson. Do, Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later.